Hi, welcome to Outside with Clyde. This is part seven of my video series covering the Clinton River Watershed Trail and my paddle in 2020 of the Clinton River from Waterford, Michigan down to Lake St. Clair. This video covers the river from Utica down to Sterling Heights, passing through Dodge Park. I'm pretty sure this is the most well-used section of the Clinton River and it's well serviced by local outfitters. One in particular, the Clinton River Canoe and Kayak, which sits down by Hayes and Utica Road, right near the Rotary Park uh, access point. There are several very good access points. The first where I start the video is at the Clinton River Heritage Park here at Van Dyke and just south of M59. And you can see there's a parking lot, good access, a boat launch. This is the most well used and popular section of the Clinton River and you'll see in the video it was a hot day, several people and families enjoying the river and it's also well serviced by the local liveries. Good water flow, this was a, a lower, uh, lower water level time of year when I paddled and uh, you can still see there's not too many sections where I have any trouble passing through. It's not very technical. This section of the river passes through Dodge Park which is quite a large green space managed by I think Macomb County or Sterling, City of Sterling Heights and lots of uh, people and uh, good access here and parking as well. And I pull out here at what's called Sterling Heights Rotary Park, and you'll see it in the video, there's a small parking lot here, but the access from the actual, from the park is very muddy, and it's not great, and that's where I pulled out, but the uh, canoe uh, livery next door, the Clinton River Canoe and Kayak Rental, there's actually a dock, a proper kayak canoe dock that's accessible. If you're parking at the Rotary Park parking lot, you can walk over to the livery, take your, uh, your your boats. You can also park in their parking lot for a fee. I think it's five or ten dollars. It's well worth it. Puts you closer to the launch. A few people on the river. It's really hot. It's a gorgeous day though. Um, I should probably put some more sunscreen on. Here we are.
Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. <laughs> Hi. Hey, it's 4.30, this is Dodge Park. You come under the bridge, and there's a takeout right after the bridge. There's no signs, so you need to be watching. Dodge Park, it's got lots of parking up by the uh, road, but it's, it's a little bit of a haul to get your kayak up to your car. But if you've got a couple people, it's you can double up. Um, I'm going to try and make it down to Hayes, hopefully by about 6.30. I'm going to take a quick break here and then head out. That was a nice paddle. Lots of water, nothing too technical. It's not too many shallow spots either.
gonna have to get your feet muddy. I think it's your turn to pull them off. No Yep, you're not too far back. So I'm now at the takeout at Rotary Park and I'm showing you there's all kinds of muck and mud here. I passed the public uh, paddle dock over by Clinton River Canoe and Kayak. And this is the walk over to the path by the parking lot. And this is the park itself. You can see the parking lot. That's Utica Road in the background. There is a path down to the river. this was fairly dry I imagine this would get pretty messy if it's wet and not a very good edge on the bank here to get in and out of the river and there we are Utica Road so the Clinton River water trail landing that's what it's marked it's right beside the Clinton River canoe and kayak livery outfitters Rotary Park of Sterling Heights. They even have a sidewalk down to a livery. They have three, six, 12 spots here. One is handicapped. 